Thanks for coming to the Viva session today, and thanks to those of you who are on the live stream as well uh, for joining from your own time zones. Um, it's great to be back at Ignite. This is Viva's third Ignite since we launched, uh, and our first in person, and it's kind of wild how much things have changed in just that time, even in the last 12 months, um, as we've all navigated return to work and the hybrid workplace, which has changed, uh, obviously, a lot of dynamics in all of our companies and in our personal lives as well. Um, not to mention generative AI, uh, which is in real time somewhat transforming many of our jobs and, and promises to transform uh, our companies and our work, too. And so, um, in fact, one of the things I was watching yesterday was the, uh, the coverage of Microsoft Ignite, and I ran into this tweet from Tom Warren uh, from The Verge. Uh, I guess I should say this thread from Tom Warren uh, on The Verge. And um, it was a Ignite bingo card. And it made, me, it made me think about my own bingo card for this uh, talk today. And uh, no coincidence, it's pretty similar. Um, we'll be spending a lot of time on, on AI today. Um, but you know, kidding, kidding and bingo cards aside, uh, I think as you run into many of us from Microsoft here at uh, Ignite, you'll notice that there's a strong shared perspective about generative AI providing a once in a generation opportunity, really, um, for us to be able to not only transform collaboration and productivity, like what you saw in some of the demos yesterday uh, from Jared or Rajesh or Sumit, but also that we can fundamentally make the employee's experience better for all of us as individuals and for our companies. And so, um, again, we'll spend much of our time in today's presentation talking about Copilot and Viva and what we're doing there. Um, if I'd projected back to uh, my time at Ignite last year at the same time, I never would have anticipated that the bingo card for this year would look uh, as it does right now um, with, with so much energy around this area. Um, and things have just changed so quickly. And similarly, Viva over the last 12 months has evolved quickly as well as we've rounded out the sweet value with things like the GA of Viva Amplify to help leaders and communicators drive clarity and understanding, shared understanding in an organization, as we've rolled out Viva Answers to complement topics in harnessing the collective knowledge of an organization using AI, and also things like Viva Pulse to provide more real-time and flexible uh, feedback for managers from their teams, complementing what a company might do at, a, at an all-up level with things like Glint. During this time, we also honed Yammer more for employee experience, transforming it into Viva Engage. I was super excited when Glint joined the Viva family. We GA'd on the Microsoft 365 stack in July, bringing Viva customers what we would consider really an unparalleled set of tools for measuring employee engagement, particularly when coupled with things like signals from Ignite, or from uh, Insights, and Pulse, and Engage. And of course, partner ecosystem in this space in particular, given the heterogeneity of all of the solutions that, that you all have, has continued to be a huge focus for us over the last 12 months. And I'm excited that SAP uh, is here today to share some of the work that we've been doing together uh, even just recently since Sapphire. With all of this, Viva's grown to about 35 million active users over the last uh, 12 months, or, or during Viva's time in market, and we expect this to grow materially as we integrate Viva in with the Microsoft Copilot uh, ecosystem. During this time, we partnered with many of you all on this journey, so I did want to take a second before we get into the demos to just thank you for the engagement and the feedback, and in a number of cases, actual co-development, co-creation uh, work we're doing together. The feedback has been invaluable, and I'm quite excited about a number of the new partnerships we're booting up around generative AI and Viva specifically. So if, um, if that's an area of interest, please you know, flag me down or someone from the team after the session too, because um, there are a lot of opportunities there this year. 
Collectively, I, I, I do believe we have an opportunity to really transform the employee experience and help employees and companies thrive, to use Satya's word, word for, um, for this area. And I'm really looking forward to the next couple of years as we go on this journey together. So while Viva's evolved a lot, and we've added a number of new applications to the suite over the last couple of years, it's all been service in service of one, uh, in one simple value proposition with really three key focus areas. The first is all around how we understand where we are, how we measure the employee experience. And this starts with hopefully helping you all create a feedback flywheel, harnessing insights from the Microsoft graph, so how we're working and how we're engaging as employees, and then coupling that with sentiment and survey uh, feedback, again, through things like Glint or Pulse uh, or Engage, and giving us a grounding so in terms of how we both feel as employees and how we're engaging uh, in our daily activities. So it all starts with the kind of the measurement piece. Once we know where we are, Viva's about helping leaders create clarity, drive a company mission, and then also create a shared understanding among all of us as uh, individual contributors or leaders about how we can help our companies grow. Um, and that's where products like Amplify and Engage and Viva Goals come into play. And then finally, once we know where we're going, Viva's aspiration is to help you all uh, enable your employees with the right set of skills, the right learning resources, and community to help support, again, these goals. All of this underpinned by Copilot increasingly, which we fundamentally believe can help not only unlock time to value and get people to outcomes more quickly, but also unlock a lot of ROI that's been, um, you know, frankly, trapped uh, without something like Copilot in the past to kind of help us all along uh, as, we, as we try to get to some of the outcomes we have uh, in our day jobs. So I mentioned we're going to spend most of the rest of the time today talking about Viva and Copilot. And we're investing really in four key areas. First, we're bringing Copilot into the Viva application. So you can think about that as analogous to uh, Copilot in Word or Copilot in PowerPoint, some of the examples you saw yesterday, uh, potentially, except just in the context of Glint or Engage or Insights. We're also bringing Viva and employee experience scenarios to the Microsoft Copilot, and particularly the Microsoft 365 chat experience, layering on additional capabilities that we know uh, that your leaders and your managers are going to require to really achieve optimal outcomes in some of these employee experience uh, related use cases. We also understand that it's incumbent on us to provide you all, uh, or, the, or those of you who are investing in Copilot, with a way to measure the readiness and adoption and impact, really, of this Copilot investment. And so you saw Jared Spataro yesterday announce the. Uh, Microsoft Copilot dashboard powered by Viva, um, in part because Viva uh, products like Insights can help unlock a whole bunch of uh, advanced capabilities for more uh, flexible and really interesting analysis to get, get us to uh, an understanding of ROI of, of Copilot and how it's transforming work. And then finally, we're bringing AI-powered skills to Viva and Microsoft 365 in partnership with LinkedIn and leading industry providers. So uh, to talk more about this first area, how we're bringing Copilot into the Viva apps, I'd like to invite Christy Kelly to stage to show us some examples of uh, what we're doing on that front. Thank you. Thanks, Kirk. Viva equips organizations with the tools they need to perform at the highest level. Copilot in Viva helps employees and leaders get the most out of each of those tools and use them together to achieve even more. Let's check out a demo. And let's start by saying I'm a leader. I've just received my Glint employee voice survey results, which highlight an opportunity for us to improve employee engagement and productivity 
through better support of collaboration and work-life balance. To more deeply understand these opportunity areas that we have as an organization, Copilot suggests that I explore survey responses related to hybrid work. When Copilot does suggest that we um, uh, explore survey responses related to hybrid work, uh, it will then summarize what employees are saying about the benefits and challenges related to hybrid work. Um, and as we can see here, it can quickly respond on that question to me, but it can also answer follow-up questions I have about what uh, responses differ, uh, how responses differ across different groups of employees. So for example, different employee segments or locations or work modes. This helps me quickly and easily understand what my employees feel is working and what they feel like we can strengthen. And once I understand that, I want to put these results in quantitative context. So I switch over to Viva Insights for an overview of hybrid work patterns within my organization. Viva Insights provides out-of-the-box dashboards to support common workplace analytics needs. And Copilot and Insights, I can request to generate custom reports on particular areas of interest to me and my organization. For example, I might ask about how hybrid work is impacting new hires. Copilot will generate this custom report for me and I can return to it. This alongside and in combination with the results from Glint will help us, me and my team, frame our approach to better supporting hybrid work and it will also help us track the impact of our efforts to do so over time. And because right now I'm hearing that there's an opportunity that my employees are surfacing for us to help them thrive and achieve more at work, I want to communicate that I'm listening. And Copilot and Engage is right in step with me, ready to help me start that conversation. For leaders like me, Copilot highlights trending themes of conversation related to employee experience and productivity. Copilot summarizes Viva Engage posts related to this theme, and it collects those posts for me so I can easily dive in and get a sense of how the theme is being discussed by employees within my organization. This helps me approach my communication with empathy and the right tone. And ultimately, whether I decide to start from scratch or bring in a draft, I can chat to collaborate with Copilot and Engage on the creation of an authentic and engaging post. For example, I could start by asking Copilot for a post template that is based on what it's read about posts related to this theme. It'll give me some starter content, but it'll also leave gaps in the content and it'll guide and coach me to input personal details, perspectives, and stories to increase the authenticity and the unique value of the post that I ultimately create. I can also ask Copilot to edit portions of my post. For example, to change the tone or improve the quality and clarity of the writing um, or to add details. In fact, with Copilot and Engage, I can get quite creative with the commands that I send to Copilot because this Copilot affords me access to the power and flexibility of chat with GPT, but with Microsoft responsible AI protections in place. For example, actually, from personal experience, um, it, is, it can be quite engaging. I don't necessarily recommend it as a best practice, um, but asking Copilot to turn your post into a poem can prove to sometimes be quite engaging. Um, so if you're looking for those reactions, you might try that out. I can also ask Copilot for feedback on my post. Uh, I could ask it to give me suggestions of ways to make it more engaging. Um, or I can ask it to predict questions that readers might have so that I might identify potential gaps in my writing that I might want to fill before I post. Copilot also provides me with proactive suggestions for how to, again, increase the authenticity of my post so that it ultimately communicates something that I've uniquely got to say in a way that is uniquely me. And all of this Copilot assists me in, so that when I click post, I feel confident that my communications will achieve my goals. And when I have achieved my goals, when I have achieved my goal to align people across our organization in our opportunity to better support hybrid work, I'm ready to drive larger scale impact. And to do that, I need to engage people across my organization in the solution. And Copilot can help. I'll work with my HR and communications teams to put together a Viva Engage campaign through which people in our organization can share resources, best practices, and success stories of hybrid work. As you can see here in just a moment, 
uh, Copilot and Engage will encourage and facilitate employees to participate in that campaign. Oh, it's already showing. Uh, to participate in that campaign so we can create meaningful change and achieve more together. And as you can see from the demo, Copilot has just helped me go from insight to action and then more broadly, action at scale. So we really drive meaningful impact across our organization. Thank you. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Christy. So um, I've, been, I've been dogfooding Viva Engage internally, and it's, it's already helping. Uh, I hope how I'm communicating uh, at least the frequency of communications with my teams, and so um, it's, been, it's been great. You'll see here we have five, uh, five of the co-pilot instances for Viva, um, three of them in uh, private preview today, goals, uh, engage, and Viva Learning. And then we have Viva Glint coming in January and Insights coming also in, in the next uh, quarter of the next year. Uh, first for analysts, we have two co-pilots for Insights coming, the one you saw in Christie's demo, and then one for uh, analysts to help them structure queries, build that out. So all of these, again, will be available for private preview, um, if not today, uh, very shortly. And we have, we have some more information at the end of the presentation on how you can get involved if you'd, if you'd like to um, kick the tires on those early. Of course, all of this is built on the Microsoft 365 stack and on the uh, Microsoft Copilot infrastructure. And so one of the things there then that you, will, you can expect from us is that we'll inherit all of the same security, compliance, uh, respect for your data and your tenant, everything running within the compliance boundary that, again, you would expect from Microsoft 365. In addition, we are coordinating across the company on single design paradigm for all of this. So if we think about you know, common user experience, how we're running our, our responsible AI processes, we're doing this as one company, um, again, to minimize uh, training for you all, um, but also to make sure that we can make this experience across different instances of Copilot as smooth as possible for users so people can really um, learn how to uh, and, and have the same expectation with each of the co-pilots. And of course, I talked earlier about ecosystem, um, important for Microsoft historically as a company for Microsoft 365, and certainly again for Viva, given the heterogeneity of solutions in this space. And so we will uh, we, we'll continue to spend a lot of time on ecosystem. And as I said, I'm excited that SAP is here today with us uh, to talk some more about the joint work we're doing. So I'd like to invite Ed Piggott from SAP up on stage. Good to see you, Ed. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so um, Ed, uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, and thanks for being here. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Kirk. Um, so my name is Ed Piggott, and I work in SAP's innovation experience team. So my team's responsibility is around building content to showcase both the breadth of SAP, but then also our extensive partner network to our customers. So my focus is on our learning management system and how we can build a culture of continuous, but also skills-led learning for organizations across the globe. And um, I'm come here all the way from London today, so thank you for welcoming me here. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you for coming all the way from London, first off. And, and uh, you know, we appreciate the partnership with SAP on many fronts, but certainly, uh, you know, between SAP and, and Viva. Um, we've, you know, we're talking earlier about some of the foundational work that we've been doing together on things like setup and interop and admin experience. Uh, generally, I know a number of folks in the um, audience will be excited to learn that uh, much of this is landing with your November release right now. Um, but the thing that's been really fun for me to watch over the last few months is some of what you sh uh, shared at your Sapphire event earlier in the year and how that's evolved. And I know you've been, been very busy. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, this year has been really positive in terms of momentum for our partnership. So bringing generative AI for one, and also skills development into the flow of work for our joint customers. And that's been really important. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been great to see, and, and it's moving, uh, moving very quickly. Um, of course, Copilot is top of mind for uh, lots of folks here, certainly for us at, at, at Ignite. Um, so it'd be great if you could, you could walk through a little bit of how SAP is thinking about uh, success factors, in particular in the context of Viva Learning and, um, and uh, Copilot generally. 
Yeah, of course. Um, so one of the areas where we think Copilot has real value is in the realm of people sustainability. So with a lot of our customers, when they're looking to fill short-term demands and address long-term business challenges, they need to enable their people to continuously learn. But of course, when we talk about reskilling and then upskilling, it's only really effective if it's personalized to each and every employee. And that's where we think that Copilot and our partnership with SuccessFactors really comes into play. So I actually want to show a demo of this today and show you how we can do this. So in our scenario here, we are looking at the uh, Viva start page for uh, our employee, Dinesh. Now, Dinesh is looking for a new opportunity within his company. And we can see his start screen directly from here. Now, he's recently seen a supply chain role that he's looking for, and it looking for an internal applicant, and he wants to make an application for it. So in order to better prepare for his interview, he decides to look for some learning courses to sharpen up his sustainability skills, but then also to ace the interview. Yeah, I love how Dinesh um, can see everything, all his learning resources in one place, including um, you know, obviously the content that uh, SuccessFactors is uh, delivering as the learning management system for his company. Yeah, no, exactly. So we can firstly see a SuccessFactors course has come up as a suggested learning for him. Um, but also from within Viva Learning, Dinesh can ask Copilot for uh, more methods of finding ways to, to get learning on this. And he can find exactly what he's looking for by just using a natural language prompt that we can see here. So show me some more courses on sustainable sourcing. And as he searches, Viva will start to show some relevant and inspiring results for him. And that can be a SharePoint page, but it could also be a learning taken from success factors as well. So he has a variety of options directly to get him started with. So I, I notice in this example, you're using natural language, but we also have some uh, personalized prompts in case Dinesh is um, struggling to figure out exactly how he wants to direct his personalized learning path. Yeah, exactly. So from there, Dinesh can use one of these prompts, for example, create a learning collection. Um, so that means that he doesn't have to look at the learnings now, but he can actually come back at a later date, maybe closer to the interview, um, to continue growing his skills. And as you can see, there are different types of learnings that have been made available within this collection. So Dinesh can upskill in a way that's most effective for him, whether he wants to see a video or whether he wants to take a full course. And of course, if he doesn't have time right now, he can just bookmark the collection for later. Yeah, so it's nice to see how intuitive um, it's becoming to find learning resources in a personalized way using Copilot. Um, I, I know one thing that uh, folks here are probably interested in is kind of the end-to-end -end story across learning here as, as you know, the primary front-end experience, and then success factors also as the place where we would update skills, have the system of record for you know, how, the, how much training has been taken and how all that works. And so do, could you show us a little bit of the end-to-end -end experience once we're on the success factor side of things? Yeah, so, um, and it's a, it's a great point. So as Dinesh makes progress on those courses within Viva, this will automatically make an update to his success factors growth portfolio. So the growth portfolio within Success Factors is where Dinesh's uh, career aspirations, his skills, and his competencies are stored in one place for him. Now, as you can see over on the left here, Dinesh's skill in sustainable sourcing has been updated automatically following completing one of those courses in Viva. And Dinesh can continue to monitor this over time. So as he completes more courses in Viva, this will automatically update, and he can start to track his expertise over this as well. Now, the growth portfolio will not only uh, infer skills from across success factors or from a learning, but it will also infer based on activities um, and work completed within the Microsoft 365 suite. So for example, you can see um, there are some skills that have been inferred based on the work he's been doing in Teams. Now, crucially, and why this is um, such an important thing for our partnership, is that this enables organizations to start to get a real-time understanding of the skills across their workforce. And then you get a bit more transparency over future workforce planning. So by harnessing the breadth of SAP success factors, and then also the extensive AI-led capabilities of Microsoft in one streamlined experience, 
we can help better engage and start to future-proof our workforce. And this, of course, is where skills management can happen at scale. Yeah, no, it's been nice to see how uh, quickly our two solutions have evolved together over the last year to really um, provide an end-to-end -end experience for, for users. Of course, this is just a demo, um, but you know, tell us uh, a little bit more about how your customers have been reacting as, as you've started to roll some of this out. Yeah, it, it's, it's more important than ever for our customers uh, to focus on reskilling their employees. So, you know, as we've seen today, we have a huge shift towards incorporating AI-led processes directly in the workplace. And that means there's always going to be a skill gap that emerges that then needs to be addressed with that continuous learning. In terms of customer adoption of what we've seen of this, well, Microsoft, you're a great example. Um, 230,000 employees using WorkTech products like Viva and Teams. Uh, and now you can take advantage of this integration as well. So we've focused on making things easier for employees within our own companies. And now we're starting to make it easier for our customers as well. And I know, Kurt, we were talking off stage just before about Grunfoss as another customer example that we, uh, we both know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Danish by origin, um, so I'm always partial to, to uh, Danish examples, um, a little selfishly. And, and uh, Grunfos is a, a leading global uh, water technology solution provider um, based, out of, based out of Denmark. Um, and we've been working with them for a while. And similar to the example you showed with Dinesh, Grunfos is very passionate about employees, uh, in part, directing their own learning and development paths. And so the personalized learning comes in there. Um, when we started working with them uh, about a year, year or so ago, um, one, of the, one of their leaders uh, had a great quote that I, 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 I love that just kind of sums up, summed up the situation at the time, which was, um, information was everywhere, and at the same time, information was nowhere. And I, I thought it was such a, a great articulation of the situation that many of us are in with learning resources kind of being all over the place. And so, you know, similar to, again, the example you showed, one of the things that they've found the most benefit around is having a one-stop shop for learning content in the flow of work, and of course, deeply integrated with uh, success factors as their uh, learning management system and a critical part of their infrastructure. And so I, I, I always like that example. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, for Grumpos, that's just the start without using Copilot. I mean, fundamentally, there's so much power that sits in the interaction data that Microsoft has across its suite, and then the talent data that sits within success factors. So in terms of the future, right now, we're exploring what's possible when combining those two things in the context of learning and then talent as well. Um, and I guess on behalf of all of us, stay tuned for what's next. Um, there's a lot more to come in terms of additional use cases, and I know we're really, really excited about the future of our partnership as well. Yeah, no, again, thank you for, thank you for coming. We appreciate the partnership with you, Ed, you. And, and certainly with SAP. Thanks, uh, And as I said, I'd love to get you back in the spring, because I, I, I do know we have a lot more coming together that uh, we'll look forward to sharing with you all then. Absolutely, I'd love to. And um, thank you for the welcome to Seattle as well. And I'm in the expert area later if anyone wants to ask any questions. Thanks Great. All. So um, speaking of the future, we'll dive in a, a little bit more deeply now into how Viva's integrating with the Microsoft Copilot. And so we talked about how we're bringing Copilot to the Viva applications. We know there's a great opportunity, though, also to bring employee experience in a more deliberate way into the Microsoft 365 uh, chat interface in particular, um, so that employees can uh, have those same skills available, those same resources available through a single interface. So customers who've deployed Viva and the Microsoft Copilot will now be able to benefit from this. With Viva and Copilot, we'll land uh, additional capabilities for leaders, HR, uh, HR managers, managers in general, and of course employees in five uh, areas of use cases initially. Um, first, we're going to be focusing on organizational health and effective teaming. You'll see those start to land in the spring. And then we'll quickly fast follow with uh, more focus on team health, onboarding, and career growth. And so to go deeper on this, I'd like to invite Sunita Khatri to the stage to show some examples uh, of Viva in the Microsoft Copilot context. Great. Welcome, Sunita. 
All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, all right. So let's take a look at how we're going to enhance the employee experience with a single AI-powered assistant at work. All right, so I'm going to start here in my co-pilot for Microsoft 365 on web. Copilot helps me stay on top of my personal productivity, like meetings that I missed or tasks that I need to follow up on. But now, because Copilot understands my employee experience data from across my organization, it's servicing trending topics for me to be able to explore. The subject of creating clarity um, is something that I want to learn more about. So I'm going to ask Copilot to help me. Very quickly, Copilot was able to respond by providing a rich summary of multiple data sources. For example, it's highlighting trending topics from within social communities in Viva, as well as employee sentiments from a Viva survey, and then a new workplace analytics report on the topic of hybrid work. And I can expand the references to see the sources of these insights as well. I'm noticing the topic of prioritization is trending. Now, in this example, Copilot is already ahead of me, and this is great. And it's giving me a few options on what to do next. I want to drill down further and determine which team is reporting the lowest prioritization scores, and of course, what drivers are, are influencing the sentiment. It looks like the marketing team could use some support. And from the recent organization-wide engagement survey, it appears there were three key emerging trends. I also noticed the comment regarding manager effectiveness in one-on-one -on -one time. And Copilot is prompting me to see how this data is changing over time. It gives me a chart summarizing a decrease in one-on-one -on -one time over the past two years. And this is all based on survey responses as well as behavioral data from Viva. The good news is there's been improvement over the recent period. This whole time, of course, I've been operating in Copilot, but if I want to explore further, Copilot offers to guide me directly to Viva. So here I am in Viva. Viva Glint is the voice of employee solution that enables leaders to understand employee engagement. And it provides both the qualitative and quantitative insights for me to have a complete picture. I like to better understand manager one-on-one -on -one insights in detail. So as I dig deeper, I'm getting a lot of rich information to build my strategy, improve clarity and prioritization across our teams, and I can easily bring these insights right back into team conversations for next steps to improve. Now, understanding organizational health um, and areas for improvement is great, but let's see how Copilot introduces the right behaviors to make these insights more actionable. I'm back in Copilot for Microsoft 365, and I've just learned about a new set of priorities based on a shift in strategy. Doesn't that sound familiar? All right, Copilot can help me craft the right goals that align to these new targets. But to give it a boost, I'm gonna attach the most recent initiatives document to make this task as effortless as possible for Copilot. It suggests a series of objective key results also known as OKRs, which I can preview and browse. It's giving me a head start in goal setting. And when I open these up in Viva, you can see the OKRs are already created based on Copilot. I can further refine. I can make edits to this. I can make them more aspirational. And then, of course, I can go ahead and save them for my team. And as Q1 unfolds, the team has clarity on the outcomes that they're driving towards the right business outcomes, and the whole organization has transparency into the work that's happening and the progress that we're making. This is great. Now that we've set our goals, the next step in achieving them is to ensure that people have the right skills and learning in place. And in fact, understanding team skills and growing them based on new demands is a, is a new use case for AI. I'll ask Copilot to tell me about my team's proficiencies and the new skills that are needed. So based on this, leveraging the new skills in Viva inferencing engine, Copilot shows me a skill summary breaking down where my team has proficiency and where we can develop further. Now, there are many ways for employees to be able to learn and acquire new skills, and I'm going to ask Copilot for some ideas. Copilot gathers a list of resources, including identified experts, communities, 
and online resources, and enables me to be able to preview the suggested skilling content as well. I like the suggestions, and I'm going to ask Copilot to create a curated learning collection. And now I'll take it one step further and delegate Copilot to recommend this collection to the team so that it's visible in Viva and that everyone can jumpstart their learning and development. Now in this scenario, Copilot not only improved productivity by establishing new team OKRs, but also now managers are empowered to understand skills gaps and support their teams based on new priorities. We're super, super excited for how Viva and Copilot will become this one experience and transcend across your whole work life to power an entirely new way of working, unlocking productivity and employee engagement for everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Samita. I, I'm, I'm excited about how this all abstracts the user experience from the tools themselves. And so um, an employee doesn't necessarily have to know where to go to start their journey in any of these use cases. They're gonna be able to start wherever, wherever they want and we'll have awareness across these different experiences. So um, hopefully super powerful for you all as well. Great, so um, beyond the Copilot product work, we also know it's important that we provide a way to measure the, again, adoption, readiness, usage, and impact of uh, your Copilot investments, whether it's through Viva or Microsoft more broadly. Yesterday, I hope some of you saw Jared Spataro announce the Microsoft Copilot dashboard, which is powered by Viva. Um, and the new dashboard is, aims to help um, you all as IT leaders and your business leaders generally understand um, how, how Copilot's getting adopted in your organizations and again, the way it's transforming work. There are really three views that we'll have as part of this. The first one is a readiness view where you can get details about how many employees uh, are eligible for and ready uh, from a readiness standpoint for Copilot. As you begin your rollout, uh, the adoption views then let you uh, understand where and how Copilot's affecting work. So think about things like views by app, view by, views by major feature area, views by major tasks. And then finally and most importantly, the third uh, view is around impact. And uh, with an initial focus on how uh, Copilot's driving time savings for employees and how it's changing the way they're working. Now, in this is all available today as of Ignite. And in fact, I think we've already had a couple hundred uh, <laughs> uh, folks accessing the, uh, the first view of the dashboard. But coming in the next quarter, uh, the first quarter of 2024, we'll also be providing more advanced an analysis and insights with additional reporting for Viva Insights customers, Viva customers generally, um, all built on the analyst workbench. And so in this case, you'll be able to drill into with much more detail and also uh, around kind of more time series uh, types of analysis. So think about cases where you wanna join the Microsoft telemetry with your organizational structure or look at co-pilot impact in the context of specific roles or operating units, or perhaps join co-pilot telemetry with sentiment data or survey data that you have in your environment. So again, um, all of this available uh, at a tenant level today, you can go access it and we'll have a URL at the end of this presentation uh, that you can use for that if you are rolling out co-pilot uh, today, and then in Q1, a lot more advanced analysis. Great. Finally, switching gears, um, the last area of uh, major focus area for us and AI and Viva is all around bringing skills inferencing to Viva in co uh, complementing your existing systems of record uh, with skilling. And so uh, rather than introduce more of it, I'm going to roll a video that does uh, hopefully a good job explaining it. And then I'm going to invite John Mile up on stage to show you some examples of how this will manifest itself in Viva and Microsoft 365. So uh, roll video. Tap into talent with skills in Microsoft Viva. A talent gap can affect your ability to execute on your company's strategic priorities. Time to recruit. Or is it? It's likely you have employees with the abilities and expertise you need, but you just don't know it. And there are others interested in upskilling and reskilling. All you need is a way to find them. Uncover the hidden expertise in your enterprise with skills in Viva. 
Skills combines two powerful data layers from Microsoft. Microsoft Graph provides access to data stored across Microsoft 365 services, including signals about employee activity. LinkedIn Skills Graph leverages aggregated real-time signals to map how 39,000 unique skills relate to each other, to jobs, and to learning content. Using these signals and tags, Skills in Viva applies AI reasoning to infer employee expertise and send information to Viva and Microsoft 365 experiences. Envision surfacing insights into top and missing skills in your organization to identify opportunities for agile talent and hiring. Now picture your line of business managers using the same data to build learning paths targeted at employees who are fulfilling roles that need the skills. And your employees? They can confirm inferred skills on profile cards and search for others who have the right expertise to help accelerate a project. Bridge the talent gap with skills in Microsoft Viva. Okay, thank you, Kirk. So I'm John Mile, and I'm gonna be walking us through skills in Viva today. Now that you saw a little bit about the architecture of the solution, let's dive into what it actually looks like in product. So we'll start uh, the demo in a typical Teams chat. So here I am talking to Cameron. Maybe Cameron's someone who I haven't worked with closely before, so what I'll do is I'll click their profile card. This opens up their Microsoft 365 profile card, which allows me to see the skills that they have uh, attached to their profile. Uh, and this shows not only their confirmed skills, but it also shows that in context of all the other information that they have on their profile card. So I can see their organization. I can also expand their skills to see all of the confirmed skills that they've added to their profile. And as Kirk and Ed mentioned, you know, we're taking a flexible taxonomy approach. So whatever taxonomy you're already using from a skills perspective, we'll support that with Skills in Viva. You can also use our out of the box taxonomy from LinkedIn if you want to as well. So scrolling down, you can see that this is all represented alongside things like the goals that Cameron is aligned to and the organization structure that he works in. And this, by bringing this all into the people card, is one of the ways that we're really bringing skills into the flow of work. And we know that by doing that, it makes it more accessible, it makes it more engaging, and just makes it front of mind for people so that they see skills, they see other people's skills, and they're prompted to keep their own skills updated. Okay, so now switching gears a little bit, let's take a look at more of an end-to-end -end leadership scenario and how I can use skills to understand the capabilities of my organization. So as a leader, I'm now able to see my new dashboard in Viva Insights, which shows my skill capabilities across the org. So I can click into this and actually filter by proficiency. From here, I'm able to see that my engineering team actually doesn't have a ton of expertise at the advanced or expert level in, in uh, machine learning. And for me, that's a bit of a concern with a new product that we're developing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask my HR team to put together a new learning academy in Viva Learning that'll help us upskill in this area. So here you can see what that academy will look like. We're calling this our AI Fundamentals Academy. This is represented on our top nav bar in Viva Learning alongside the other academies that our organization has access to. If we scroll down here, you can see that part of this academy is a number of different learning paths, so people can choose to pick up their learning journey based on wherever they are in their uh, expertise and understanding of a topic like machine learning. So now that we've identified a skill gap in my organization, my HR team has put together this great academy, we're gonna now get the word out. So how do we do that? We're gonna use our newly GA Viva Amplify. So from Viva Amplify, I'll click a blank campaign, and from here, this will allow me to start populating it with information. So we have our employee skilling campaign, we'll add a title, we'll also add some content here. Uh, once we've done that, we can also choose our different distribution channels. So we have a number of them selected on the right-hand side. We'll go ahead and keep those selected. And then we'll move uh, to the next stage, which is where we, where we add some imagery into this content. So you can see that by adding images, we make this a more compelling communication. We know that communications with images get higher click-through rates. And you also have our AI Fundamentals Academy call to action badge up in the upper right, so people can click into that and quickly get to the content that they need. So we'll go to the next stage where we preview our communications. This looks good, so we'll go to SharePoint. From SharePoint, we can then go to Publish, and from here, we'll choose to publish this communication now. So we'll publish it now. There's an approval process that we can go through as well, and once we've done that, the communication will now be sent out to people in my organization, and you can see what it looks like here in Outlook. So this is great. Now, switching back to Cameron for a second, you can see that this is Cameron's Viva Learning start page, and here he wants to edit his skill profile. So he'll go down and click the edit button, 
And this allows Cameron to see his skills. You can see recommended skills, suggested skills. The skills in gray here are inferred from his Microsoft 365 graph activity. Scrolling down, we can also see his confirmed skills that Cameron has added to his profile with different proficiency levels from beginning to expert and also some recommended learning as well. Scrolling back up to the top, we're able to see a tab which allows Cameron to excel in his role. So he'll click on that and he's able to see some different skills that are recommended to him as well as expectations for his role at his level within his company. So he'll click on the AI ethics skill, add this to his profile as a skill that he's just learning and just developing. And then that allows us to configure the entire learning and skills experience to say, okay, Cameron wants to know more about AI ethics. We'll confirm this on his profile. And then you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, he now has suggested learning opportunities aligned to that same topic of, of growth and development. You can also see on the left there, a graph which shows his skills compared to his company's skills expectations, which gives Cameron a good sense that there's a couple of areas like team management and change management where he may wanna upskill a little bit to, to meet those expectations. So this is just the very tip of the iceberg of what we're doing with Skills and Viva. We're excited to move into private preview with this by the end of this calendar year, and we expect to make this generally available in 2024. Thanks so much, and back to Kirk. Thank you, John. I can't wait to use the skills internally. We're starting our own dog food this month, and uh, you know we, had, we, we, we just got through a manual inventory of skills in my org, and so this could have saved us a lot of time. Um, so, Lots, we talked today about AI roadmap for the most part. Lots of other capabilities coming to Viva. You can find all, everything on this slide on the Microsoft 365 roadmap uh, site as well. Um, and to close things out, couple calls to action. Check out the Copilot dashboard. URL's up there. Again, if you've already started rolling out Copilot, you can access that today. Learn more about Viva adoption at adoption.microsoft.com. And then if you are interested in one of the previews for the Copilot's uh, instances we shared today, there's more information on that last URL. So again, thank you for attending the Viva session today and have a great time at the rest of Ignite. <laughs>